The upper room in Jerusalem is one of the most sacred sites in Christianity. It's the place where Jesus and his apostles gathered together for the Last Supper. Lauren Ashburn recently sat down with the author of a new book highlighting its profound spiritual significance. Joining us now is Monsignor Peter Voggy, pastor of the Church of the Little Flower since 2004 in the Archdiocese of Washington and a prolific author. Just released a new book called Meeting God in the Upper Room. Welcome to the program. Lauren, thank you so much for including me today. I'm so happy to have you here, really. Yeah. I really am. Yeah. The book focuses on three key events that happened in the Upper Room. And on, on the cover, you say these are three moments to change your life. What did you mean by that? Three very consistent, important moments. First was the Last Supper. The second was the post-resurrection appearances of Jesus. And the third was the coming of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost. Let me share to you with our viewers a passage from your book. And you say, washing of feet is an unforgettable dimension of the very life of Jesus and should be an integral part of our lives. It is a quintessential upper room experience awaiting daily imitation in our lives. How can we imitate washing of feet? We're not going to walk around and wash everybody's feet. What do you mean? Well, it is certainly it's a paradigm of social justice. The whole church's teaching on social justice can be can be represented in the washing of the feet. Jesus, who emptied himself, took the form of a slave, and only slaves washed feet. And anytime we engage in social teaching of the church, live the social teaching, which is constitutive of the gospel, we are washing feet. How? What can a I kind, do? Give me kind, an idea a, of what I can Calling someone who is not well, visiting someone at home or in the hospital, uh, soup kitchens, we have all these different options, particularly here in the Archdiocese, but all over the country, ways in which we wash feet. We serve others out of love after the example of Jesus in the upper room. And I know that's something that you do every day in your, in your daily life, and you encourage people uh, like myself who are in your parish to, to do so. What motivated you to write this book? You've already written, what, five before you well, wrote this one? I guess one. part of it was I went to the, um, to the Holy Land a number of years ago on pilgrimage, and I went to the upper room with all of our pilgrims. I was unbelievably impressed to think that in this room, this Holy Eucharist was instituted, the Sacrament of Holy Orders was instituted, the Sacrament of Penance was or instituted, the coming of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost, which took place there by the by the laying on of hands, the Sacrament of Confirmation continued the movement of the Holy Spirit, which also took place. So you think of the four sacraments or three and a half sacraments <laughs> that took place in the upper room. That's a pretty powerful place. And then Jesus washing the feet, the, um, also a doubting Thomas, his faith emerged when he, when in front of the risen Christ when he said, my Lord and my God. Uh, and then the coming of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost in the presence of Mary. And the, the disciples who had stayed in the upper room, had been with Jesus, had, had become bold and had gone forth to preach the gospel. All of that came from that room. That room, if you will, is an icon of a fruitful church. Beautiful. Monsignor Peter Vaghi, pastor of the Church of the Little Flower and author of Meeting God in the Upper Room. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you so much, Lauren.